This is the year 2012, and you would think that we were living in the depression ages of 1930. With the way our economy looks, the lack of jobs, homelessness, foreclosures, people standing in food lines way, way, way down the streets. That shouldn't be happening in today's time. You would think to just have a Coke and a smile and enjoy it, but that's not the case. Hi, my name is Donald Jackson, and I'm a local television producer as well as uh, becoming up and rising film producer. In my early days, I didn't think I was going to be a television producer or even a film producer. I did enjoy entertainment and I did enjoy the fact of being in front of a camera or even behind the camera. So it was somewhat of an interest for me. People were relying on our government to solve our problems, but we know if you continue to listen to the world's events that our government is not going to be able to take care of our woes. We're going to have to stand up and do something about those things and make sure that our actual futures are going to be in a better hands. And what are those better hands? It's ours. It's, we need to come together and make a difference in our communities. So that's why we're producing a movement that will allow Minnesota and Michigan to come together. For over two decades, a longtime champion for the arts in Minnesota, in 2009, he was appointed to serve on President Obama's Committee on the Arts and Humanities. In the Senate, he has co-authored a bill that would offer a tax incentive to help grow the film industry here in Minnesota. Senator Cohen, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Ken. In a nutshell, what is the film production tax incentive bill and why should Minnesotans support it? it it's a fairly simple piece of legislation. It, it provides a tax credit uh, to encourage film production to come into Minnesota, uh, hire Minnesotans, uh, bring money into Minnesota, and uh, also to uh, produce films that will advertise Minnesota to the country. One of the things that I knew that I did not want to be, and that was going to be impoverished. I did not want to be poor. So I created a company, Poor No More. Poor No More was going to allow people to change their thought patterns, to make sure that uh, it's just not about finances. It's about how you spend your finances and how you do with what you have. And then, of course, what is your mindset? If you think that you're going to be poor, then most likely you're going to be poor. So Poor No More was my mindset, and that's why I chose to take on this challenge. Being poor is like seeing someone with a broken arm. You only notice it when you have one. So until it happens to you, you can never imagine what it is like to be without. There's an awakening in this United States that needs to happen now. The state of Minnesota and the state of Michigan, as well as other states, have this concern and issue regarding film tax incentives. There are those who say the Michigan Film Tax Credit only benefits Hollywood. I have a few friends here who beg to differ. What it's really about is jobs. Over 6,000 in the past two years alone. It's about people who dream of living and working in their home state who we can't afford to lose. Like so many we've already lost. It's about an $800 million boost in our economy from film and digital production activity. And a return of $6 for every $1 spent. So let's keep building this business instead of waiting for one to come to us. Let's do it for our friends and families. Let's, let's do it for all of us. The Michigan Film Tax Credit. Keep it rolling. When I started to research about what film tax incentives really mean and how they were used, I thought it was a good thing. The state of Michigan, I'm going to use that for an example because it has brought some concerns, pension and retirement dollars to put into an investment opportunity that could go sour. These things will also in turn affect our community and affect our livelihood. So when we use those tax incentives to offset those big production companies, then we're hoping to bring jobs into the community, bring revenues into the community. But when that doesn't happen, it also brings despair, hopelessness, joblessness, and then it also brings in depression. So this movement is an initiative to bring about a collaboration between states, Michigan and Minnesota. Why can't we come together and have the community to help offset the tax incentives 
and make about a pot of money that could be utilized to offset the cost for movie production companies to come into our communities and make those high budget films. We can all team together and make this a reality because we have the same interests to survive, to make sure that people are working, to make sure our economy is thriving. Right now in Pontiac, Michigan, they're facing a great loss because they have a studio, their Raleigh studio, that is currently not being utilized as it intended. And there's tax dollars, tax incentives, and pension dollars that are attached to that. And if they lose, that whole town loses. Not only does that town lose, but we lose here in Minnesota because it affects us in one way or another. Talk to your local legislation and see how we can make this movement to bring Michigan and Minnesota together to build a better film community.